Hello Scorpios, welcome to your October 29th reading. Happy birthday to the Scorpios of October 29th and October 30th. So we're going to see what's going up, going on in your world. Uh, this is just going to be a uh, quick read, a current energy read. So this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. If you have not had a chance yet, take a look at my other videos. Um, may help, help you, they may help help you. Um, to get into the energy, okay? So this is Scorpio for some of you, Venus Rising. And if you like, ooh, look at that. Okay, I can't take all of those. <laughs> they just, but I'm gonna check them, just to see what they are. Yeah, the moving on card, the hope card, the four of wands in reverse. Um, wow, okay, so we're gonna put these back. All right, so never had that happen, but let's see. All right, I should put them back, but um, if you're on a personal reading, reach out to me, okay? Um, Dominique, uh, I know I hear you, so let me know, and I want to say thank you to all my beautiful people who has contacted me for a reading. Uh, just make sure that you understand this from through Zoom. It is face-to-face, -face, uh, and I schedule you based on your time zone, so just let me know, and, um, and we will, okay? You get in touch. But it, however, uh, I have a few slots left for... The t up to the 23rd at the end of Scorpio season, but I might have to schedule some of you after the season ends. If you'd like to get that deal for $55, just do so before the 23rd, okay? And to schedule your time. All right, so Scorpio, so, so sorry, my dog is being... Um, I don't know what's getting into him, but <sighs> okay. So you're in the Queen of Cups energy in the reverse. Seven of Wands, you're definitely blocking blocking your energy and your heart here, and you're not you're kinda knowing what I'm getting from this Scorpio is that you remember the place this person, this past person put you in, you know. Just remember this, okay? But you are coming out of that energy to make you feel um, renew re and like I said getting out of that mental headspace that you have been um, drowning yourself in I would say um, you know feeling bad about things how things were and about yourself and your self-esteem but you're in the tent of pinnacle so I do feel like I don't know what you want I mean this is about your money could be trying to be on a career um, making your way to a better life so let's see what that's about so I do feel like here that third party's energy is still there. Okay, Scorpios. All right, so uh, with this third, sorry about that. Um, third party here and a two of pentacles. Okay, it's something to do with, let me see. In your energy, you're thinking about. I think you're thought you have already gotten out of love with this person, and you still love this person, but you're not too thrilled or in love with this person more because you remember like <coughs> how this person treated you, and you have the three of cups and the two of pentacles. And it feels like here you are just decided you're going to go be happy and you're not going to be played with anymore. <coughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Six of Pentacles, you are trying to, yeah, you're definitely focused on your career right here, making more money. Some of you might be struggling with money with the Six of Pentacles. And you might be saving some and, you know, watching your spending, that kind of thing. Because you feel like it's something you need to work on. I don't know what is in my throat. <coughs> but, wow. Okay, happens every time I get online. It doesn't happen. I just feel like somebody's in my throat chakra that does not want me to talk or they're thinking about things. But it happens almost every time I get online. Almost. Um, six, the Six of Wands is in reverse, so you are in this energy that, you know, 
I think you feel like you've learned your, your part here where you have put so much effort into someone and how someone can change on you without vetting them or really you put your emotions way too fast here with someone that leads you to a relationship being broken and you know that kind of thing um, not saying it's your fault but you really thought this person this player and this person who couldn't make up their mind they were playing house with you you were after that ten of cups but their energy was they wanted just to play around and that's how they saw you as someone who was not a value of the Empress in reverse but you are the Empress and they took away your heart they took away your feelings and they made you into this energy where you couldn't concentrate you could focus you couldn't you know open your heart and now right now you might be closed off to a lot of people not even thinking about a relationship but because of what this person did and the way your mind processes trust you are in that four of wands energy so this person led you down into something like an illusion now there's that six of swords again i just called out a few months ago but you are trying to really move on there's that hope card You are moving on with a new idea of life, and you're not phased by this. But you, but you do feel this person in your energy, still. And like I said, you might not be in love with them to want to go back to a full-blown relationship with you. But it does feel like you're still holding on to this, um, and you already know with this page of wands, they're going to want to talk to you because you can feel it in your energy and this person I'm not saying they love you back but it's kind of like I said I'm worried because they're in the players energy and want to play house with you because you might have a house you might be having a good career money a lot of things to offer to this person and they see you as the you remember before they didn't see you as someone valuable you are the Empress with that Empress in reverse Tell me more about Scorpio's energy in this person. Now you might be moving on and they're also having hope for you too. There's that, try to get rid of this two of swords, but it came back out. Do you see that? And the devil card's on the bottom, okay? You could have been dealing with somebody who's very attractive, but they're obsessive about you and protective of you in a way of um, not allowing you, but they, they just really feel like they could be getting some kind of karma here. They're getting what they deserve, actually. Because they did put you through some bad things here. You could have been dealing with a narcissist, as I always say, with that devil card. But they could be obsessive with you, um, wondering about you, and you feel that part of you. Um, because when you connect with people, whether we like it or not, um, they are they're always connected to us and unless you do a soul tie soul cleansing then that way you can kind of break the tie with that person um but this person does feel like they they want to just kind of rectify this and but they just can't think stop thinking about you but they could have put you through cycles here their patterns still betrayal and that's the part that it's hard for you to understand is with this person they they betrayed you they betrayed your trust and all you wanted them to do was be honest with you that's it and they couldn't even do that anything else with the ace of swords so yeah so they had to they put a price tag of making you heal they put you through so many things and they put you through this um the cycle and now you gotta heal this. You gotta, you know, you're the one who has to fix this. And that's the part that bothers you, is that you didn't ask for this and didn't want it. So this is the part where you're like, I'm done with this person. I, I, I just have to move on. And it's not moving on emotionally, but it, mentally and logically, you know, it's the best thing to do. That's 
why I don't see any fillings here. Yeah. Jorino. This person was full of it. <laughs> They're full of BS right here. The, the, what they had done. So anything else about Scorpio's energy? Into that spirit. You do recognize that they were playing around behind your back. Giving you BS. See? And you're coming up as the Empress here. You're coming back to who you really are. You are in the Empress level. Let me see their thinking just before we go. What is that person's thinking towards Scorpio the Empress? What is the energy first? What is this person thinking about Scorpio? Okay, that's a lot of cards there, but I'm going to put this back. What's the energy towards Scorpio? See, they have a different idea here. Yeah. They have a different idea. They want to contact you. They want, but because they've been thinking a lot about you. Um, but I do feel that feeling they want to come out of this hermit mode. They want to, uh, they don't like being lonely. They don't like being by themselves. Of course, that's their narcissistic trait too. They don't, they're never alone. <laughs> And they're just thinking about the cups they have with you, the happiness they have with you. And this has left them being alone. They're actually in their thoughts here with the Nine of Swords. But if you think this person's given up on you, they have not. They think that you're great as the Empress. Uh, they do see you as an Empress. And they just know... They need to come back and have a conversation with you. They need to talk to you. They need to fix this. But they are watching your pictures. And they know now you are the Empress. They know it. And maybe before you didn't treat yourself like the Empress. And they saw that. So they were able to take advantage of you. But now you're the Empress. You feel it. And they feel it too. So keep going Scorpio. Okay. Alright. So that's what I have for you here Scorpio. So if you like a personal reading reach out to me. Give that a thumbs up. Remember you are the Empress here. Don't give up on yourself. They are going to contact you and uh, you have to make a choice and a decision here. And remember the BS they put you through here. They came in promising you a lot of things and fake, fake things and they didn't do none of the things they said they were going to do. But I do feel like you're just, you still care about this person, but you're no longer in love because you remember. It's ingrained in your brain, <laughs> you know, as a Scorpio. So reach out to me if you like a personal reading. I look forward to hearing from you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell for more videos every day. But happy birthday to you Scorpios on the 29th and 30th. I will talk to you soon. Have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.